explain your solutions uh, or to the interviewer just a- as a colleague, right? Uh, so hi, uh, welcome to uh, another episode of Mentor Talks. Uh, we are going to cover uh, SDT role at Amazon today. Uh, I am Keshav Patil. I am one of the founders at Pretest, and today we have with us uh, Gaurav Banerjee, uh, who is an SD SDT at Amazon. He is a mentor at Pretest and at various other platforms, and he is an active blogger and an active contributor at Stack Overflow. So, in any case, if you have been uh, taking help from Stack Overflow, uh, you might have, in some or the other way, gotten some kind of mentorship or help from Gaurav Banerjee. Also. So hi, uh, welcome Gaurav. Welcome to the Mentor Talks. Uh, hi Keshav. Yeah. yeah, thank you so much for inviting me here. Yeah, it's an honor, I'd say. Yeah. yeah. And uh, if you have to like uh, touch up upon like what has been your interview process, you you also have cracked the Amazon. Right, interview, right, right. Yeah. So what was your interview process? How long did it go? How like how many rounds did you have to go through all those parts? Right. Things? Yeah. So for me, uh, I have got a mail from recruiter. Then it okay. was a phone screening interview. So okay. then once that has been done, then I got a call that uh, there will be uh, six interview rounds that that okay. they call on site. So on site okay. because we we have to visit to their campus and then uh, have hmm. have to give the interview. But uh, during my time, it, it was completely virtual. Cool. Yeah. So then uh, I have to share the my availabilities and then accordingly they have uh, scheduled those interviews. So uh, in those six rounds, uh, two are uh, completely on DSA and cool. uh, next uh, one was on debugging and as I have told the uh, testing fundamentals, fundamentals. And, right and fourth one on based on the designing. So uh, cool. designing means I'm not uh, saying uh, a system design rather than a low level uh, low design, level design. Yeah, uh, design patterns. So those yeah. are um, important here. And after that, a managerial round and then a okay. uh, uh, buddies round, right? Okay. So so these uh, six, uh, after that once they have uh, all six rounds, the rule is they will uh, collaborate with each other and then take a higher or no higher call after that mm-hmm. a recruiter called me and then then the next process has gone through starts yeah. got, it, got it. so how long does this whole thing take like right from the getting a mail to yeah getting, okay so it was uh, um, it was not like much time i would say one month probably uh, total Achha. yeah because i i already have started giving interviews and i had a couple of offers in my hand Achha. so recruiters processed a bit fast there Got yeah. it, got it. And uh, you you said that you you already had like multiple offers, so I'm sure that you might have uh, focused on uh, building the resume also in the correct way. So, yeah. like, what exactly is looked upon in any resume is as such, and uh, what I I think the more important question in resume is would be what exactly should we avoid rather than you know what should okay. we have. So, so... Example, like, <laughs> what exactly uh, do you do you prefer in any resume? Sure, okay, sure. So I can yeah. uh. uh... I can explain uh, from my thought process because uh, sure. I, I'm not sure how really uh, recruiters screening those uh, mm-hmm. resumes, but I uh, prefer to make my resume short. So mine is one pager actually. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, I avoid uh, the company descriptions, project descriptions, and also I only put whatever the skills I do have, right? And mm-hmm. uh, whichever the uh, companies I have, worked on and uh, mm-hmm. what are the highlight areas that which I feel that I have done an exceptional uh, job there. So those are the uh, highlights. So those are the few bullet points I'd say. Uh, so and yeah, so my resume is very short on that uh, perspective. To the point. And the resume should be to the point, not going around. Yeah, I feel so. Maybe because, yeah, yeah, maybe because for these companies, right, also recruiter have to uh, gone through a lot of uh, resumes, so they yeah. might have not got a chance to go through all the things. Understood. Understood. Got it. Got it. So, like, uh, I think the next thing uh, which I wanted to understand was, you know, like, what exactly was your uh, strategy to crack these interviews? Like, how did you prepare for those, and what what all did you have in mind? How, how did you cover the whole interview preparation? Journey? Okay. So, like, yeah. Yeah. 
so here I have for particularly Amazon, I would say uh, uh, the main uh, focus area for me was DSA because that basically took a lot of time, right? So uh, kind of it's kind of a train the brain. Uh, so uh, it, it's not possible that if uh, no one actually having uh, the hands on uh, practice. So yeah. within one month, you can cover uh, Selenium, Rest Assured, CI CD, those things, right? And you you, you, you can just explain that in the interview. But in for DSA, uh, it was completely on luck if you were able to cover within one month. So you have to yeah. give time to the brain that how how it will understand the problem statement and how it will give you the solution, right? Yeah. So yeah. there are a lot of uh, weapons, I'd say, these uh, searching, sorting, different algorithms are exactly yeah. uh, my weapon to solve this so i mm. i focused on to know the weapons first Patterns. that Got it. which Got are the uh, different weapon i can use mm. so mm. once actually i have that clarity then i uh, once a, a problem statement was came to me then i thought about that okay which one i have to use which Got was it. not so i'd say this was solely on practice and uh, mm. this is the only one uh, way I believe that to crack DSA uh, mm -hmm. now uh, and the uh, and for the testing right so uh, for the testing concept testing mm -hmm. uh, fundamentals yeah. uh, there are a uh, very good books I would say that how Google test software or uh, how Microsoft okay. test software so uh, there actually uh, I have learned that what was expected or, or how a taster should mm. think about right so there is a different uh, thought process it uh, requires it's not like I have given a uh, scenario and I'm come up with the use cases it's not that straightforward approach so oh. those books help me a lot to think about that uh, that that way I'd say and apart Got from it. that I had a previous experience on uh, system uh, design creating the thing so uh, mm -hmm. I have the basic concept so that also helped me a lot uh, to uh, understand and yeah I generally uh, focus on um, design patterns while creating mm -hmm. frameworks so the low level uh, design code reviews so yeah so those also uh, I, I have focused but yeah those are I have to brush up those things but uh, the main focus I have to spend on um, DSA. Mostly. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Uh, I think so. That, that's that's the reason. Uh, that that's because we have like two to three rounds of DSA out of those. Yes. Cases. Right. Yeah. Correct. Understood. Understood. And how how long did you prepare for? Uh, like, what was the duration you prepared for? Okay, so uh, actually, as I have told that I have been uh, giving the interview. So uh, huh. I have a habit that. Uh, uh, when I joined Amazon, uh, sorry, uh, Walmart. After that, I usually been in touch with um, DSAs. So I love to Got solve it. them. So it's not like Achha. for one or two months. I would say uh, uh, for three to four, uh, three years, I have been uh, solving problems. And uh, that might not be regular, but obviously mm. uh, three to four days in a week, of course. So kind of I, uh, yeah, so that, to say I, I have not spent a kind of a dedicated one month or two months time ah. before the preparation I had that earlier got it but you've been doing it from such a long time now uh, right right I so for uh, uh, right yeah. so before the Amazon interview I have just uh, go, gone through lead code mm. I, I have sorted down the questions for Amazon right so and got then it. I tried to solve them so yeah mm. and the one of the most important thing is uh, the time being um, uh, that you uh, how much time it takes to solve the problem mm. because uh, while we are solving a problem normally and while actually we are solving the problem in the interview the only difference is we have to complete that within a time right yeah, so that true. was the technique and also uh, while uh, solving a problem by us we are not going to explain what actually we are trying to do but mm. uh, for this kind of interviews like if I, i'm going to give interviews like amazon google facebook mm. right so uh, one very important thing is think out loud. Uh, so mm. the, the concept here is that they are not going to judge that whether you are going to solve the problem. It's not the mm. binary that zero or one solved or not solved. Rather than how you focus on the problem statement, they usually give you a, a open uh, ended question that how you understand the problem statement, uh, you have mm. to ask a clarification 
questions like so that is the one of the important aspects for the sdets that you True. want to know the requirements first yes. so yeah. questions should be vague uh, so you mm -hmm. have to understand the exact requirement drill down the uh, uh, stuff and then thought about the problems and i say uh, uh, that explain your solutions uh, uh, to the interviewer just as a colleague right you and mm. your interviewer are in the same project and that's the problem statement here so you both have to solve for your team right so just discuss yeah. about the problem statement that how you are going to solve them uh, and uh, whether there is any better approach if they say mm. yes then try out that so kind of and while you are right down the problem right explaining that why you are writing uh, this uh, uh, code snippet this logic and what could be the mm. uh, validations uh, it might fail or how you are going to do it so the, how much you are going to involve the interviewer they are uh, going to more focus on your thought mm. process and they will also understand that the, the guy I, I have been given a question the mm. he is uh, following probably on uh, dfs but once mm. actually you, you have explained so uh, like uh, i can solve like a bfs but that's the problem here so i i, I am using dfs so you give him a confidence that or him him or her a confidence that he has the concept he has a 360 mm. degree view so uh, so once actually he will submit the feedback they will have the mm. more confidence on you clarity got it got yeah. it so the idea basically is to just let him know whatever you're thinking right make yes. him read your mind in a way whatever True. is going through you right Got correct it. correct because for one year slot is uh, one hour slot is very uh, limited for the interview so uh, as much as uh, information you will able to give the interviewer that's benefited you understood understood yeah. got it got it uh, i think so i just wanted to remind all our viewers on that note that uh, you know if you want to get all these amazing insights uh, we have this free plus mentor talks learning on our youtube channel so you can go and subscribe to that and in case if you want a personalized mentoring or personalized help for your interview preparation we have such amazing mentors like gorab on our uh, platform uh, we have it we have mentors from amazon we have mentors from other good companies as well so at any point of time if you think that you need some kind of guidance or clarity you can just go through the platform and uh, get help from them so yeah uh, yeah coming back to the strategies uh, uh, Gaurav. So I think you already mentioned few resources, like few books on the testing. So are there any other resources which you recommend uh, for anyone preparing for SDT role at Amazon? Um, yeah. So as I have told, so I um, I, I have practiced uh, uh, the coding from uh, Lead Code. So I, 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 I'd say that's a very good platform. Yep. And there are a lot of good YouTubers whom I uh, mm -hmm. followed. So I, I should not uh, name them because there are a lot of, and uh, all of them are very good, right? So yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, so uh, they can uh, follow them also, right? So uh, yeah, yeah. each one, uh, uh, why actually I, I, I'd not like to name them because each in individual has their own style to teach right yeah. i like someone might be someone likes another but but the yeah. their whole goal is to understand the things right yeah. and there are like very good um, courses on the uh, course era if someone actually wants to uh, yeah. understand those uh, dsn not the problem solving skill but yeah. what are the graphs trees and how actually uh, the algorithm got developed right yeah. and uh, and for testing purpose like uh, for to learn any uh, thing from scratch like design mm. patterns low level things mm. so uh, udemy is a very good platform which i usually refer and mm. also uh, there are a very good uh, uh, youtube channel also that that is uncle bob's code or they, mm. there are a book like clean code and clean uh, architecture so these two books yeah. really helps right and for system or design concepts, again, I have gone through a lot of YouTube's uh, video and grooking uh, for system design. That site is really having a good yeah. insights, right? Yeah, so yeah. yeah, so these are the things I uh, followed. Uh, yep. So I, I think, yeah, so uh, there are a lot of uh, resources. It's not limited yeah. to this, but yeah. Yeah. 
got it got it and i think it would be very hard for uh, the viewers to even remember it so uh, what we'll try to do is we'll try to put up all the resources in the description down below sure, sure, so for, for them it would be very easy to go through it whenever they want to do right uh, okay. Gaurav, so the, the next thing that i wanted to uh, understand uh, is that there are many people who start with their interview preparation right and uh, for anyone who is trying to understand you know how to how do they go about doing like completing their interview preparation so there are a lot of inconsistencies that come in between there is there's a lot of motivation dip that comes in between so how does one go and keep the motivation on keep that consistency going because without all those things it would be very hard for someone to you know complete the preparation so okay. hey, are there any tips or something <laughs> which you would do or like what so... well, it's a normal thing to have yeah no it's a normal thing to happen especially if you are uh, preparing for a uh, long term right so yeah. as i have told that uh, once I, uh, I i have started preparing so if uh, i knew that it would uh, take me 6 months 9 mm-hmm. months to yeah. gain the knowledge on dsa so that is a, a long time right so uh, yeah. that definitely will uh, kind of that definitely have a capability to demotivate anyone yeah. so yeah. i think individual has to identify uh, what they want right so yeah. if they have to figure out any single cause a single cause actually yeah. Yeah. Uh, to, to which they can wake up in the morning or yeah. they can work after the office hours right yeah. Yeah. or before the office hours so there should be one motivation which uh, i believe uh, individuals have their any single motivation thing right so Got they it. have to choose that and focus on that right so if they have that dream then uh, i think that is feasible so only thing as you have uh, uh, told i completely agree that uh, these interviews i i'd not say it, it's tough okay mm-hmm. the only yeah. things i have uh, seen the people have started like uh, m- uh, i have seen many uh, candidates because i have been mentoring people from since long actually mm-hmm. but uh, they will not uh, conti- they usually not continue I mean, some of them actually we mm-hmm. not continued after a couple of w- weeks actually mm-hmm. so yes, that's the reason of uh, not have the confidence to appear for the interviews right but okay. these ddsa and all are not tough so once you have the practice um yeah. for a couple of months i believe anyone have that capability to crack these interviews actually yeah understood understood got it uh, it's just about keep it going keep it going right. once, once you, if you if you are going to be at it you're going to crack. right yes okay. yes yes understood uh mm-hmm. makes sense yeah i think the consistency part plays a very big role uh, in this part and yeah uh, for sure uh yes uh, i think that's what i had in my mind Gaurav. uh i feel that we had a like very candid conversation so i'm very glad that it was not yeah same already, here kishan yeah. Yeah, yeah so it's good uh, and for anyone you know who is trying to do the their interview preparation i, I think the biggest tip would be to keep your preparation going no matter what goes and find that motivation uh be it lifestyle be it money be it fame whatever it is just find yeah. your right motivation and right. keep that consistency going Get so it. yeah uh yes so uh, that ends our mentor talks uh gorup and for anyone who wants to get mentored uh, from gorup you can go through our website i'll put a special discount below in the description and you can go and get help from gorup yeah uh, thanks, thank Kishore. you so, so much gorup uh, yeah thank thanks kishor for your time yeah bye yep yep thank you thank you bye 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 just